How was the first semester at ALA in a pandemic? Well, I can tell you it was amazing. After a lot of planning during the summer, we started school in person, and for all but two weeks of the first semester, we were in person. On average, about 85 to 90% of our students were here in school learning. Our teachers and staff certainly had to make some adjustments, but they did it. They adapted and so did our students. And I'm excited that our students were able to learn, they were able to grow, and in all the ways that we want them to become closer to their savior. They did it academically, they did it spiritually, and they did it socially. I love to tell you about all the ways God's blessing us and in the uncertainty of 2020, God's blessings and God's providence certainly came through for us. We've had $84,000 given for our 21-22 tuition assistance. And what's awesome about that is the more that people share with us, the more that we can give away to our students. We've also had over $800,000 donated through the Arizona Tuition Tax Credit Program, and that will directly impact our kids in the next school year. So many people have been so generous to us, and we're thankful for our friends who make ALA a priority in their life. An exciting project on our campus kicked off in July, and that's the renovation of our locker rooms. After 34 years, we had some much needed changes that had to be made, and so now we're excited that they were completed in early November. We doubled the number of lockers in each locker room, along with making bigger lockers for our kids. We reconfigured the entire space to make it much more functional. We added air conditioning, new flooring, new tile, and lots more amenities to make things better for our kids. We want to help our student athletes have a great experience. So a huge thank you to our gala donors, as well as some estate gifts that made this project possible. ALA is looking ahead to the future. We always want to ask ourselves, how are we serving our community? How are we serving our federation? And most importantly, how are we carrying out the work of spreading the gospel? Our board, along with our leadership and some subcommittees of the board, have been looking at future plans to say, how can we do these things? So here are a couple ideas that are coming out. We're looking at new academic plans and possible staffing positions that we can add. What are some ideas for development, for connecting with people? How about a site plan where we look at the future buildings that we could be adding to our campus? And lastly, more ways that we can communicate with you and with so many friends of ALA. God is blessing our work, and we want to honor him by diligently seeking ways to carry out the Great Commission. We want to use every opportunity for our kids to grow. Activities are a great place for that to happen. We're so thankful that our kids have been able to play sports for this entire school year. Our football team made a great run into the semifinals. Our volleyball team was in the state tournament again, and we had a 23rd place male runner at the state cross country championships. I think that's so awesome to see how they are using their gifts to honor God. And after a couple of delays and some uncertainty, we're playing basketball and we're wrestling. You can watch any of our home sporting events or other ALA activities on our YouTube channel. We have a couple big upcoming events at ALA. Our virtual gala will be on March 27th, and our annual golf classic is coming back this spring on April 24th. You can always check out updates and see what events are going on through our social media channels, our Coyote E! News, and through our website. We give God all the glory for another terrific school year so far. Jesus is our friend, Jesus gave us his love and grace, and we're so thankful that you're our friend and partner in this ministry. Thank you.